Welcome to this month's Head Gardener's video log. The hydrangeas are such a feature at Treva. You've got the hydrangea valley looking absolutely stunning with that sea of blue leading down to the sea. But there are some more unusual hydrangeas, in particular hydrangea paniculata. This is hydrangea paniculata venial phrase and we also have limelight in this area as well. But there are some other unusual hydrangeas, in particular in the background you've got hydrangea aspera. Aspera is a lovely, unusual hydrangea which tends to sprawl and find its way through the woodland areas in the garden. It has those lovely mauve purple flowers which carry on and get darker as you go through into autumn. Hydrangea macrophylla zorro can be seen flowering along the video walk in amongst the hydrangea valley. It has lovely deep blue lace cap flowers but is best known for those black stems. Hydrangea paniculata kaiushu is another really showy hydrangea. It can be seen flowering above the video walk and is laden down with those large creamy white flower heads. Hydrangea quirkifolia, or oak leafed hydrangea as it's commonly known, is another interesting form of hydrangea. It has lovely panicles of white flowers but is best known for those oak shaped leaves that go a lovely deep red as they change colour before they fall in the autumn. Clethra arborea really does have a lot going for it. It has these beautiful white bell flowers which have the added bonus of scent and really does look stunning as you walk along Petri's path and also down on Beach Path where it's planted above the azalea bank. Hoheria sexistanosa or ribbon winners is commonly known it's a rather attractive upright evergreen shrub that can be seen flowering down on beach path in the new azalea bank. It has rather lovely white flowers which really do stand out against that silvery green foliage. Clerodendrum trichotobum var fargesii is one of those plants that has a lot going for it. It has wonderfully scented white flowers at this time of the year leading through into September and is later followed by blue seed pods. It can be seen flowering in various locations around the garden and in particular around the azalea bank, down along the beach path and around the koi pool. My vista of the month has to be the hydrangea valley. It looks absolutely stunning with a sea of blue hydrangeas leading all the way up to the gunnera and down to the sea below. There are also lovely vantage points where you can see them at different points and also this lovely blue bridge with the planting around. The water that goes through the garden really does complement this area with the pond below.